Uh, one murder leads to another in Blood Simple. <laughs> you tell me what it is you want me to do, and this is a secret. This movie is named Blood Simple, and this is one of those diabolical and insidious murder thrillers where just when you think you've had enough, the whole plot takes another bloody turn. You find out you didn't know anything really for sure after all. This is another example of the bruised forearm movie where you're always going like this to the person next to you. <laughs> the movie is depraved and violent and dripping with gore, but it's put together with perfect logic and split-second timing and very good acting so that you admire the artistry of the film even while you're hiding your eyes with your hands from some of the scenes. Blood Simple begins simply enough with a sleazy saloon owner who wants to hire an even sleazier private detective to commit a murder for hire. I got a job for you. <laughs> oh, well, this pays right and it's legal. I'll do it. It's not strictly legal. Well, pays right, I'll do it. It's in reference to that gentleman or my wife. The more I think about it, the more irritated I get. Huh? You tell me what it is you want me to do, or is it a secret? It's no joke. Well, it's not strictly legal. You want me to kill him? You might recognize the veteran character actor M. Emmett Walsh there behind the wheel Terrific. there. Now, I don't want to give away too much of the plot of Blood Simple, but I don't know how I could because this plot is so complicated and has so many surprises and double reverses in it that there's no way I really could give it away. So let me just explain a little bit to set up the next scene. That sleazy saloon owner was found dying by his wife's boyfriend. Now, the boyfriend thinks that she did it, so he finishes the job, and then he tells her, but she doesn't know what he's talking about. It's important what we do now. Can't go around half cocked. What we need is uh, time to think about this. Figure it out. Anyway, we got some time now. We gotta be smart. Ray. Right. Abby, yeah, never point a gun at anyone unless you mean to shoot him. If you shoot him, you better make sure he's dead. Because if he ain't dead, he's gonna get up and try and kill you. The only thing that taught us in the service is worth a goddamn. Yeah, where is his windbreaker? And early in the movie, somebody loses a cigarette mm -hmm. light. Is that great That's feeling? That's an exciting moment. That yes, it happens. is. I've done everything right except for one fatal thing. Mm -hmm. Blood Simple is one of those movies like Hitchcock's The Trouble with Harry, the one where the dead body kept popping up and up and just wouldn't stay buried, no matter how many times they tried to bury it. This is a movie that runs the risk of being very offensive, but it pulls off the difficult trick of being so clever and so wicked and so ingenious in the way that it manipulates its plot and manipulates us, and manipulates its dead bodies, that we can't help but go along with the whole roller coaster ride. And it's funny because there are times when you're really repelled by what's happening, and other times when it turns into sort of a black humor. Um, I bought this whole film, mm -hmm. and I am so impressed when a film can have outrageous things happening in it, and extreme violence, mm -hmm. which I have a short fuse on generally, mm -hmm. and I am absolutely compelled. And mm -hmm. I think it's because of the visual style of the film and the arresting images, so that actually we are totally entranced mm -hmm. by this picture and our whole concentration is up on the screen i didn't laugh that much i bought the whole thing mm -hmm. um there are things that i'll always remember shots of that windbreaker with blood on it mm -hmm. uh, dust under coming creeping underneath it of a door rows of uh in the field plowed how about that thing where he's trying to break down the wall that oh, was yeah. an amazing thing there, this is just it's a, <clears> it's a film debut by a young director out of new york film school it is very, very important. Well, now, when I said I was laughing, I don't think I was laughing because I thought it was a comedy. Sometimes you laugh out of surprise or out of astonishment. Or, or relief. Or relief. Or in this case, out of the neatness of the way they trick you or the way that yeah. they bring surprises on you. If it weren't for the logic of this film, from beginning to end, you wouldn't be able to accept these preposterous events that follow also, one after I was the other. Told, I was told this was going to be a very violent film. And it is at the end, not mm -hmm. at the beginning. And so I'm sitting there watching, and for a long time it isn't so violent. So. Even if you have a short fuse on violence, and I think I have one, this is a very, very well-made, impressive picture. Thumbs up for Joel Cohen's Blood Simple, the diabolical, ingenious, and bloody new thriller. 
and Vision Quest, a product and who wrote the script. I should mention Terry Davis and started it all. I'm sure he's responsible for a lot of the good dialogue in that film, too. Okay, so Vision Quest and Blood Simple, which yeah. I think is going to become a little bit of a cause for love around the country as yeah, some people cheer it and other people run out of the... I don't know that they will. I ran out of the theater, at least in my mind, on Brian De Palma's uh -huh. uh, body double with the uh, big uh, drill. Yeah. This film is more bloody than that, and yet it's in control. I don't want to start well, the debate. It's a real, 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 real good film. Anyway, yeah. we're agreed on that. And that's it for this week.